ಓಂ ಆದಿದೇವ ನಮಸ್ತಂ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಮಂ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ದಿವಾಕರ ನಮಸ್ತಂ ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ ನಮಸ್ತುತೆ ದ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕ್ರಿ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಮೈ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ ಟು ಯು ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಬಿ ಗ್ರೇಷಿಯಸ್ ಟು ಮಿ ದ ಶೈನಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಮೈ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ ಟು ಯು ದ ಮೇಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ ಟು ಯು ದ ಮೇಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಸಲ್ಯೂಟೇಷನ್ ಟು ಯು ದ ಮೇಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ladies and gentlemen a very warm afternoon to all of you what i just recited was in salutation to the lord of the light sun which my mother had taught me when i was a little child at that time neither my mother nor me were aware that later on in my professional life i will study and conduct research work on solar energy which was already implanted in my mind by my mother many years back about the supreme energy who shines and is responsible for the existence of life on this planet and today i am going to speak about specifically about solar power which is the foremost renewable source of energy i personally started contemplating how to make a significant growth in alternative or renewable energies in our country when i solarized a small petroleum retail outlet in the remote place of northeastern part of india on further research and reading through all the available artifacts during my research where literature review was an integral part of any research project i was quite astounded to know that applying this source of energy can actually make india and drive to the country to being a energy surplus one and from energy deficit country after working as business partner of one of india's leading oil marketing companies for close to two decades in our corporation as a business partner i'm proud to say that i have achieved something on that directions and learned enormous things to work on more such projects i came up with my own fundamentals which would help us to achieve our goal towards growth in solar energy constant plus variables plus response is equal to growth by this i meant that we cannot change the constants but we can change the variables and can work accordingly and as a consequence we receive growth in our mission or objective let me bring facts into consideration to elaborate this further there was no significant development in the field of renewable energy until the successful execution of the jawaharlal nehru national solar mission in 2014 suddenly there was a boost in solar power installation post 2015 there could be several factors that might have had a favorable or unfavorable impact on the prospect of solar energy in india now let's talk about how we blessed with this source of energy india receives a high percentage of solar energy throughout the year it's almost in the red and orange zones which means high radiation that is india receives high percentage of annual global irradiance even at the worst case scenario such as that in the northeastern states we are in orange or yellow zones which is still a lot of solar resources compared to germany which accounts to the maximum installed solar plants in the world has lower than orange and yellow zones radiance available to them at natural resources don't you think we are truly blessed with the natural resources that are available to us and yet we are fully utilizing them hence these are constants which are irreplaceable now let me throw some light on variables in my own humble way i have devised and identified few variables which can embrace vital areas in an attempt to mitigate some or most of the challenges in this sector moreover the need of solar industry is to improve the quality of our daily lives and to discover positivity in the most adverse situations my study has proposed and identified few variables which highlights and help to 
upgrade the solar industry, its potential applications, barriers for a better solar industry in future in order to resolve the energy crisis. This study empirically indicates that government policy, participation of local people, climatic conditions, and finance for solar energy have significant influence on the growth of solar energy in India. All these variables have been used to determine the impact of growth of solar energy in India. To support and understand these variables, there are proven studies already devised. Addition to constant and variables, we have responses, which play an inevitable role too. A research framework was constructed based on these to identify dependent variables like government policies, people's participation, climatic conditions, and finance, which treat as response as which impacts on the growth of energy in India. I would also like to touch upon the government policies involved in brief as to not to over overwhelm you. There is a universal consensus that supports that government policies are indispensable for the promotion of renewable energies projects and supply, including solar energy. Policy frameworks have always played a vital role in joint decisions or approaches with associated bodies like energy planners, international cooperation agencies to increase renewable energy investment, to analyze potential barriers and challenges at two macro and micro level, which is essential to map the requirements for different support from the government in the form of extensive research and development, which is needed at a very early stage where government support is must. To take the solar energy systems fully functional, finance is foremost. The Ministry of New and Renewable Energy, MNRE, is spending huge amount of money on decentralized solar and hydro technologies to bring energy security to the remote mountain regions that average 320 sunny days throughout the year. Ladakh, the remote district of India's northernmost state, is currently getting benefits from the largest off-grid renewable energy project in the world. The next important thing is climatic conditions. Like the analysis done for other variables, here also several phenomena has been retrieved, which directly or indirectly represent different climatic conditions. These are changing climate impact, predicting solar radiation, hot and humid climate fluctuate solar system performance, solar energy storage, which may affected by changing atmospheric temperatures, roofs and other related buildings conditions, which may affect performance of solar system. Climatic condition plays a considerable role in the growth of solar energy. The natural variability of the climate and its causes need to be understood before any firm conclusions regarding changes are made. My extensive study found a significant relationship between climatic conditions and the growth of solar energy. This indicates that is an increase of climatic condition, which is likely to enhance the growth of solar energy in India. Without proper awareness campaign, the entire effort might go in vain due to the lack of knowledge. With all these biggest contributors for enhancing the solar energy growth system lies on the people's participation as well, without which all this is impossible. People's participation is a significant influence on the growth of solar energy in India. Any new projects require public awareness. To realize solar projects, people should first be taught the benefits of the project. The public is aware that renewable energy is a better option than fossil fuels. Local views as well as the uh, rational on irrational community behavior need to be taken seriously to common at an amicable settlement during ventures. These objections and specific fears and emotions must be identified, discussed, 
and managed. India being a diverse country requires transparency at grassroots level. Any new project requires public awareness. Accordingly, for the solar power projects, people should be educated on the benefit of that very project. Let us join together and present solutions for growth of solar energy in India. I'm proud to say that outcome for my research will help in developing and improving the solar energy application tools for implementation to enhance the effectiveness and efficiency of their energy initiatives. My study contributes towards existing research gaps, which develop a comprehensive understanding of essential factors that significantly impact the thinking, planning, policy making, financing, investment, participation, and execution at different levels. On this note, I'm signing off. Thank you all for patiently hearing. I'd also like to take the opportunity to express my sincere thanks to TEDx Sholini University for giving me the wonderful opportunity to present myself.